Hey guys, today we're performing our BBQ Guys expert overview of Camp Chef's Woodwind Wi-Fi 36 inch pellet grill. This is a grill you'll want to consider if you want the ease of smoking with a pellet grill while having the added versatility of being able to slide the heat deflector out of the way for direct flame grilling over wood fire. Let's get to it. We'll be looking into the grill's performance by checking out the thermocouple data. Our low temperature evenness test was run with the pellet grill set to smoke, which is a setting temperature of around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. After one hour, the thermocouples indicated an average overall grill temperature at the cooking rate of 192 degrees Fahrenheit. And the probe with an average temperature the furthest from that average temperature was the top left quadrant, which was about 30 degrees higher probably better than most indoor ovens. I'd say that's pretty good. For our high temperature 15 minute preheat and evenness test, the grill was set to high, which is about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We had Camp Chef's slide to grill heat deflector left covering the fire pot. At 15 minutes, the Woodwind's average cooking grid temperature was around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. This initially sounds low, but with the slide to grill removed from over the fire pot, there's plenty enough heat for searing. At only 15 minutes of preheating for a pellet grill, that's pretty impressive. As for the grill's high temperature evenness test, at 30 minutes, the grill's average cooking grid temperature was around 439 degrees Fahrenheit, and the probe with an average the furthest from that temperature was again the top left quadrant, and this time it was about 100 degrees above the grill's average. Now that we have all that number science out of the way, let's see how the Woodwinds performed with 28 four inch round patties covering most of its cooking grade. All of the patties cooked pretty evenly with the patty in the far left quadrant finishing about a minute before the rest. Not exactly a deal breaker. Next, we slid the heat deflector plate away from the fire pot to try our hand at searing beautiful steaks. Searing can definitely be a challenge with some pellet grills, but with Camp Chef's Woodwinds, this is not the case. I was very impressed with the all over steakhouse like crust I was able to put on my steaks. I appreciate that the woodwind did not make me cry tears over a well done steak. That can be a tough thing for me to get over. The direct flame provides enough heat to get a nice crust before the inside is overdone, whereas a pellet grill without the option of the direct flame does make it a little bit hard to sear a steak without just kind of, you know, baking it through. Our final real world test was low and slow. For this, we loaded the grill up with a couple of nice pork shoulders, some baby back ribs, a whole chicken, some sausages, and some vegetables just for good measure. This test went off without a hitch, and I was able to make about 20 new friends by passing out the enormous amounts of perfectly smoked food we had in the end. By the way, the woodwind smoke amount setting is legit as well. I cooked all this food with the setting at 10 and it makes a very noticeable difference. I think you can tell by the bark that I got on these pork butts and on the ribs that I'm going to give them an A+. So how about woodwind's build quality? Our test showed that the woodwind's lid was 14 gauge 304 grade stainless steel. The cooking grids are constructed from almost five millimeter thick enameled steel rods, and the extra top grates are about five millimeters thick as well with a nickel coating. The firebox of this grill is 17 gauge powder coated steel, while the actual fire pot itself is made of 304 grade stainless steel. The fire pot heat deflector is 16 gauge steel, and above it, the drip tray diffuser pan is made of 13 gauge steel. For a pellet grill in this class, this grill is pretty well built and a little above average, which is always nice to see. Let's have a look at the features. Camp Chef's Woodwind Pellet Grill comes with a 22 pound hopper, giving you plenty of pellets for the longer, low and slow cooks, and has a built-in bottle opener, as well as a knob for fast and easy pellet purging. These are great for changing out pellet flavors, or also if you're putting away your grill for storing to just go ahead and empty the pellets out. The Woodwind is controlled by a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled PID controller that allows you to connect a smartphone to the grill's interface through the Camp Chef Connect app. Once connected, you can manage the grill's temperature, adjust smoke levels, 
and even label and monitor the four included meat probes to track the progress of your cook. The stainless steel food thermometers connect straight to the grill's interface on the side of the PID controller. If you choose to forego the smartphone connectivity, all of the settings of the grill can also be controlled with this knob on the PID controller itself. Inside the grill, there are of course the main cooking grids, but above them, there are two separate cooking grids that are your extra set. These can be used together or separated when you need more space below for taller food items. The top racks can be set completely level to each other or slightly spaced allowing the front rack to slide beneath the back rack. All of these cooking racks combined give you 1,236 square inches of space. This was plenty enough room to cook this smoked BBQ feast when we had pork butts, ribs, chicken, and veggies. These next two features are fairly unique to Camp Chef and in my opinion, really great features to have on a pellet grill. The first is their slide to grill fire pot diffuser baffle. It's set up so you can change between direct and indirect grilling without even having to open the lid, much less remove the cooking grids and drip tray. You simply pull this knob out for direct grilling and push it back in for indirect. Really cool. Next is for when you are ready to remove the ashes from your fire pot. Again, this normally means removing cooking grids, heat diffusers, etc., etc., but not this time. Simply pull this knob on the grill's side outwards and your ashes will conveniently fall into a metal cup beneath the fire pot. Way cool. Excess oil from the grill drains into the bucket on the right side of the grill for easy removal. Underneath the grill's body, the legs of the Camp Chef feature an included storage shelf. That's a wrap for the Camp Chef Woodwind Pellet Grill. See you next time.